Hello viewers, this is Cristobal Dina from Trinity Software. In this video we have an exciting concept. We are going to develop a single player dice game. So this is the scenario which we are going to create now using TK Inter Python interface. We have a start game button. We are going to roll two dice and a person is declared as winner if he or she gets a sum of 10 on rolling these two dice within 10 chances after the 10th chance the person is declared as a loser if they didn't get 10 so this is a simple rule of this game we are going to develop this using tk inter come let's start here is our code so this tk inter I have given a basic introduction about tk inter and how to develop a simple calculator using tk inter in my previous video if you want uh, more basic steps about TK Inter, you can watch this video which I have given in the description below. Okay, now let's see. So we have to import three things in order to design that game. So the first thing is you have to import TK Inter, and if the player wins, I need some separate message to be displayed that you are the winner, or if the person loses, then we need to display some other message. So for that purpose, I am importing message box from TK Inter. We are going to have two models here tk inter and random you need not explicitly install anything these are all available in python itself import tk inter as tk and then you have to import random model random model is to randomly choose elements of maybe from a given list since we are going to roll the dice it means that you will get some random value so for that purpose we are using random model here okay now in order to create a tk inter window the first thing is you have to create an object for tk inter r is the object created and you are setting certain properties for r that is by default the window size will be small i am just expanding that width into height as 700 into 50 and i define a title for the window as roll dice inside this root window or main window i have created a canvas widget you can place other widgets inside this canvas widget. So we are adding this canvas widget using tk.canvas, the main window or comma width and height. I am setting the width and height as the same as that of the main window. And I am organizing that widget using this command geometry manager c.pack. And we have used two functions here, roll dice and restart button. Now we'll uh, see this function definition later. Before that, what are the things to be created? If you see here, we have two buttons. This start, restart game, roll dice, two buttons are there. And these two dice is actually the symbols. And these symbols are placed within a label here. So one label is needed right now. In this example, I'm not going to take the image. So leave this image right now. This is again a label, how many times you have rolled the dice and what is the sum you have got. These two are also labels and again this is also a label. We are using four labels here. In order to place the dice, the label name is L dice. I am declaring L dice and initially the text is empty. And I have declared the font size to be 120 so that the image of the dice looks somewhat bigger. And then as I said we have two buttons, roll button and start or restart button. Roll button will roll the dice. If you press that button, it should roll the dice. I have disabled the button initially. And I am going to call this function when this button is pressed. This command is equal to roll dice. We will see what is that function later. The next button is start or restart button. If you press this button, restart function should be called. So I have placed all these buttons inside the canvas. Then we have three more labels. Label 1, 2 and 3. The first label, initially it is left as empty. It is to denote this one. Dice rolled how many times. And the second label, label 2. Initially it will be not rolled yet. Later when it is rolled, it should display the sum got 10 or you got 7 whatever the number that should be displayed here rule of the game is displayed in the label 3 okay so this is how buttons and labels are all designed and everything is set ready right now except for function definition so we have roll button and start or restart button so that users can play again and again so we'll see roll dice when the roll button is pressed 
it will call roll dice function i am going to count the button clicks so i have declared a global button clicks which will be used in tree start function also so for the dice this is the symbol we are using here so this symbol has a corresponding unicode character string so totally we will have six faces so this is phase 4 and this is phase 6 similarly we will have from phase 1 to phase 6 so the equivalent unicode representation is starting from slash u 2680285 totally six faces so i am placing that in a list called dice again i create another dictionary this dictionary will contain the equivalent values of the dice so 2680 represent phase 1 so i have an integer representation of 1 then 2 3 and goes until 6 this dictionary can be used for calculating the sum okay now we are going to roll the dice when you are rolling two dice so it should be a random value chosen from each die so this is the list we have in random model we have this uh, function called choice random dot choice of the list so random dot choice of dice will select one element randomly from this list and it will be placed in die one similarly another random element will be stored in die two that's it now we have to place it in the label label dice dot configure test initially it was uh, empty text now we are going to not directly put this unicode character strings instead the corresponding symbols symbol representation is given by this formatting f dash of die one die two so that you will get this image perfectly these two symbols okay so this l dice is placed inside the canvas by setting the x and y parameters that's it now we have already obtained a die 1 and die 2. We are just going to add these two. We have got this unicode characters. The corresponding values are obtained from the dictionary. D of die 1 plus D of die 2 and it is stored in the result. That's it. The calculation part is over. Now we are just going to place everything in the TK inter labels. So in the label 2, the text message should display you got a sum. So that sum can be displayed here. You got str of result will give what sum you have obtained next we have this button clicks plus equal to one please note that initially you will call this start or restart at that time button clicks is set to zero so initially button clicks count is zero so whenever you are rolling the dice button clicks plus equal to one you are going to add one to this button clicks variable now label one we have another label set to note down how many times the dice has been rolled so dice rolled the button clicks times now we have two conditions either if the button clicks have reached to 10 and still you have not got the result as 10 uh, you should make this roll button inactive and display a message mb dot show error stating that game over sorry try again else in between within 10 clicks if you get result equal to 10 you are going to show information that your winner congrats you won and roll button status disabled that's it whenever you roll the button these things happens and whenever you press start or restart button the button clicks counter is set to zero and label one text is also set as empty and label two text is set as not rolled yet and roll button is activated that's it now let's execute this program Yes, we got this initially we have only this option start or restart game roll the dice this button is by default it is deactivated so only when i press start or restart game this button gets activated so let's start first time when the dice is rolled you get five and i try for more number of times I have rolled the dice for 10 times but still I didn't get 10 so this message is sorry try again and you can see after 10 times this uh, button is again deactivated in order to activate I have to press start restart game again we got sorry try again So the third time I got 
you got 10 so the message is congrats you won that's it now in order to enhance this i can just have an image stating that you won and i can have some sound effect like clap sound and when you lose you get a message like okay try again some image like that so in order to add image and sound to this game we can do a little modification to this program so this is the one with a little modification tk inter doesn't support sound so in order to add sound to your program you have to install pygame this is the command for installing pygame in windows prompt and this hyphen 3.7 represents the python version you have i have python 3.7 so i have mentioned hyphen 3.7 so that must be replaced by the python version which you have so go to the command prompt and just type this py hyphen 3.7 the version name python version which you have and hyphen m pip install pygame that's it and then you press enter pygame will be installed i have already installed it so i will just skip it now now these two things are already present we have imported tk enter random the importing pygame and in order to include an image you have to import these things from pil import image tk and image okay what are the changes i have made here i have declared a variable i some changes and rolling the dice and restart so we have two more global variables image and i these things are all same if the button clicks has reached 10 and the result not equal to 10 i have to show an image stating that game over please try again so that can be displayed using this method to open the image use image dot open and you can resize the image also that is i have used this resize to fill the screen completely then that can be passed as an argument to image tk dot photo image then you are creating one more label here to, to display this image label 4 and this is placed inside the canvas that's it now in order to include sound we have three steps we have to initialize this pygame.mixer using this pygame.mixer.init method then you have to load the sound file which you have so for uh, game over i have this boo sound and uh, try to use dot extension wav that will be supported by pygame for sounds then you can just play this sound else i have included some other image here the same concept and another sound applause dot v that's it and in the restart button this label the image label which you have created that should not appear once you press the restart button by default i will be empty and if the music is playing still it should be stopped once the restart button is pressed so i have called this function music.stop and if i exist so if the image exists i am going to delete that labels by calling c.delete.i and other things are the same now let's run this The winning rule is all hidden here. I'll press start button. So once the restart button is pressed, the sound is stopped. reached 10 but still we didn't get 10 as the sum so it has this message that's it so this is a simple game which we have developed using pygame and decanter thanks for watching